in our prime land production systems, Lucerne is obviously an invaluable pasture base. It provides us four to five times the production capacity compared to a dry pasture. Obviously we all know it comes with its own issues. The main diseases that we're having to deal with when we're grazing Lucerne is our red gut and also clostridial diseases. So red gut, we see it in Lucerne because it's a highly fermentable and really easily digestible pasture. Um, we particularly see it when we only have a monoculture, so only Lucerne. We don't have a combination of grasses and something more fibrous to break it up with. Um, the way it's happening is that we have um, in our rumen, normally that's breaking down our really fibrous feed. Um, so with Lucerne that's moving through really quickly and we don't have it taking up as much volume as it normally does. So we have a rumen that's a really small volume and then it shifts to being a mainly digested in that cecum, so in our intestine. Um, and that means that we have gas production in our cecum. So we have a smaller rumen and an enlarged cecum which means that they're able to shift around in that abdominal cavity and that twisting actually occludes our blood flow and that's where we see the disease and a really sudden death occurring. So it typically takes three weeks for red gut to develop so one of our main um, ability or our main method to deal with red gut is to do five days on loosen and then two days off. You're sort of breaking that cycle and by putting them onto a pasture that has more fibre in it, you're able to build back up that rumen size and stop that process from occurring. So when we are grazing lucerne, another option that we tend to try and use is having a hay in there with them. It's obviously hard to get them to want to eat that hay rather than the lush lucerne. Um, it's about a bit of a balancing act trying to keep them on loosen which is such a productive feed but not seeing that disease occurring. So our clostridial diseases are what we're vaccinating against with our 5-in-1, our 6-in-1 or our TASVAX which is our 8-in-1. Um, the most common one we'll see in prime lambs on loosen is pulpy kidney, so enterotoxemia. The easiest way to be preventing against this is to be vaccinating before and making sure they're up to date with their vaccines before going on to a really lush pasture. It's that sudden change in feed. Normally a six in one will be more than enough to cover them, but if you're having particular issues on farm, sometimes eight in one, our TASVACs can be really helpful. Um, sometimes if we're having a delay between death and then doing our postmortems, it can be confusing if you're doing your own postmortems that you're looking at red gut because you will see a really inflamed intestine in there. So another point to remember when we're grazing lucerne is that it actually, the plant itself is storing sodium in its roots rather than the leaf matter um, which the animals are actually able to eat. So supplementing salt has been shown to increase growth rates. Um, they've done studies in prime lands showing a, like quite a significant increase in growth rates by just providing them with some loose salt.